I'm Stephanie Stallworth with your lunchtime traffic. This update sponsored by Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport. Uh, we're out here on the MLK day. Do have a road closure for you. It's not related to MLK. It's a crash with the pickup truck and the overturned trailer. 85 South, just before Claremont. They're holding all lanes for you there uh, for a bit. Then they'll start to let you get back by. But for now, uh, trying to maneuver things in that area. Again, it's 85 South before Claremont. Trying to get yourself uh, down toward the downtown connector. You're going to be stopped in some traffic in that area. Of course, a reminder road closures in place because of the uh, MLK Day March. March begins at Peachtree, uh, heads uh, down past Baker over toward Auburn Avenue, ending at Jackson Street. Expect those closures in place now until at least 4 o'clock. Uh, they may reopen them a little bit later at 5, so they're saying sometime between 4 and 5 March, starting around 145. Of course, when the service is over. Hartfield Jackson, Atlanta International Airport. Reconstruction's underway to change the face of the world's busiest airport. Visit not Visit next.atl.com for more information. I'm Stephanie Stallworth with traffic when you need it most on the People Station B103, the ATL's number one for hip hop and ID. Hey, Stephanie Stallworth, ATL traffic lady. Hey, Tammy, Doreen, how you guys doing? DeWitt, Charles, it's King Day, Maurice Waller, what's happening? Hey, Larry, how y'all doing today? We got a day off and a day on. You guys doing any King Day uh, things happening up there in your area? Right now we're uh, watching the uh, the uh, church service, ecumenical service, uh, down here in Atlanta uh, at Ebenezer Baptist Church. Sure, it's on where you guys are too. Uh, if you're able to watch that, then get ready for the march and uh, any other activities we have down there around the King Center today. So so much going on for that. And then we have uh, our Founders Day for Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Happy Founders Day, Soros. So just a quick little hit here for you. Um, see how you're doing post Falcons Eagles. <laughs> I know a lot of you folks are in Philly, so you're happy. But Falcons folks down here are not so happy right now. So it's like a mixed bag, a mixed bag. Did any of you go to the game? I know you all watched it. Um, my sons were split, so one loves Falcons, one loves Eagles, and yeah, my household, one said, don't talk about it. <laughs> After it was over, you know which one that was. One loved the Falcons, the other was like, yeah, we won. So, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? So, anyway, hopefully you guys are... Uh, Having a good day. I think we're going to get some snow down here. I'm not sure what you guys are getting up and showing. How you feeling, folks? We, uh, talk about the weather. It's going to get a big storm. Doreen, hey. Bob Emler, how are you, baby? Gosh, I haven't seen you in so long. Hey, Wanda. Doreen, hi to you. Hey, John. John Holbert. Got about the boy. Thanks, Reese. Happy Founders Day. Thanks. Hey, Mark Brill. What's happening? Yes, yeah, so I have uh, midday reports, just two of them, on uh, the 12 o'clock RV 103. So again, if you download the radio.com app, like we talk about, and you can uh, check Atlanta, and then you can check uh, B103. All right, so right now it is the, uh, uh, I'm just tweeting out this crash we have. It has all the lanes blocked, there's a video of that. I'm tweeting out at ATL Traffic League. Uh, on Hootsuite. You guys use Hootsuite? So oh, supposedly that's it. Send now. So it should show up on my Twitter. Uh, in a minute, let's check the video out there. They have all the links blocked. Had a pickup truck that was towing a trailer to overturn. I'm not sure how long they're going to be out there. I thought they'd get a couple lanes open for them real quick, but it's been closed since uh, about 10, 11 minutes now. So that means you're Folks are all backed up trying to get through there. They think they'll clear the whole thing according to this around this time. So I'm trying to see what's going on. Let's see if I can show you. Real quick, some of the stuff I end up looking at to find out what's happening. So here's some GDOT cameras for you. So you can see here, they got all the lanes blocked. These people down here are just sitting here. In fact, they're getting out their cars like, can we go, please? I'm trying to get to the King March. You know, so folks trying to head there and not going to be able to uh, get there that way. I'm going to give some alternates for people who aren't quite there yet. But, uh, yeah, that's not going to be a good one for people trying to head into town today. 
So hopefully you have a day off and a day on. And um, see, we all work today. We have a day on. And uh, hopefully you'll find something to do to help out somebody, service project-wise or otherwise today. Um, Maurice, what you been doing? Oh, Kenny, Bruce Erlin, you guys all off today. Look at all these people off today. Hey, Mark Brill, old friend, I know. Boy, we grew up together, that's good times, right? Possible snow up there in Philly, a few inches up here too. So you just said maybe, what, a dusting to an inch or so <laughs> around here. Tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night uh, to Wednesday morning. So we'll see. Thanks, Doreen. Happy Founders Day. Thank you. Happy Founders Day to you too. It's Saturday. Hey, Kathy. How are you today? You got to get your brother-in-law down here and his big grown looking son. His son's so big now. Hey, Trina. No, I didn't get my crab legs yet. DJ Darnell, what's up? How's everything? So just a quick noon edition here. We're going to wrap it up uh, in a minute, but we're still looking at the blocked traffic out there, 85 South, for those who are in Atlanta, uh, right at Claremont Road. Uh, it's going to be a little while longer. I don't even see the uh, trailer on the camera there. But look at these backups and delays. Let's see what they say here. There's an update. Look at that. People are just at a straight old standstill. You don't want to be over here uh, in this here. And they were just rolling along because it's a holiday and there is really uh, no traffic volume out there. But something like this, I'm going to mess this folks up. Coming down from Shallowford Road, you just parked. No movement whatsoever. Hopefully they get this reopened for you quickly. Oh, look. Here's the update. So now they got some lanes open. As expected, left side's open. Right side's still blocked but at least they are moving. So that's one good thing. I'll make a video of that real quick. <clears throat> I usually give the update video for you. So I just do the video on my phone and then I can upload it really quickly to uh, social media. I'm Stephanie Stallworth, ATL Traffic Lady. Here's the uh, crash scene we had out there with the pickup truck that had the trailer that flipped over as you head that way. Uh, they finally got the left side of the roadway open for you, traveling through that area. Uh, we're pretty much at a standstill for uh, about 10 to 15 minutes. So you're back in business somewhat, at least a good two-thirds of the roadway open there on the left side. Right side still tied up, but you're going to be uh, moving along there at least once again, trying to get yourself toward the downtown connectors, 85 South, right around Claremont, that crash activity. Still out there, mainly on the right side, but your left lanes are finally getting by. I'm Stephanie Stallworth, your ATL traffic lady. You are up to date. All right, so that's when I'll post on the uh, thing. Hey, it's DJ Darnell. Yeah, I was What's looking up? at your video and I was like, is that snow? Oh, no, no, gosh, no. It's just like the camera is uh, uh, like, having some issues there. I was like, that's snow. I quit. <laughs> I was like, not yet. We're supposed to get it tomorrow. I heard it was supposed to snow tomorrow. And I'm yeah. like, I don't want to do it. Say hi to everybody. No, ma'am. I don't. What's going on, everybody? Facebook Live. Oh, Stephanie everybody. Stewart, oh. ATL traffic. Well, that's what she's doing. Everybody. I, I came over there. I was like, what's she doing? What's she doing over she there? I try not to bother Maria and uh, Larisha in here. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't help it <laughs> but bother them. <laughs> They're like, all right. All right. Ivan Katz, what's up? Hey, Monica. How are you? Good to see you, girl. Good to see you. Happy Founders Day, Sora. You guys do it. You doing anything with your chapter today? Because it's like right on King Day, and uh, so service project would be perfect today uh, for you guys to do. Yeah, this is the big crash we have out here. So even though they're moving at the scene right here, whoop, they finally got those lanes open. But look here. Mm -hmm. They haven't quite budged yet. Uh, let's see, inching along just for a smidgen here. So back at Shallowford Road. So mm, it's going to take a little while for this to ease out. Uh, got all the King Day stuff happening. And let's see. Let's get this out of I'll show you where this crash is. It's up here. See that? 
So if the crash is down here by Claremont, past Claremont, they're way back here a couple miles down the road with that backup all because of the closure. So it doesn't take long to close, 10, 15 minutes. And then, forget it, the lay down is done. So uh, the next report, if it's still jammed up there, which probably will be at least a little bit, I'll give some trip times coming through for how long it's going to take them to come through there. Right now, it takes about 28 minutes to get the through that stretch. So that's uh, 17 minutes more than usual when there's no problem. So people who maybe left a little late to head to some uh, King Day activities, they're going to be a little later trying to get there today, unfortunately. But, um, hey, Vanessa. How are you today? Happy King Day to you. Yeah, I remember when we were uh, back in Evans and Gaten Junior Senior High School. Stevie Wonder came out with the uh, Happy Birthday song. You guys remember that? I know you do, Maurice. And we were just hoping there would be a holiday. But there, we didn't have one yet. But that song was the greatest impetus as we would uh, talk about King in school and stuff. And then we ended up getting the holiday. So it was, uh, that was a big deal back then. It was something we could hope for, you know? Hi, Sharon. How are you today? Good to see you. Good to see you. Let me see if I can get something up here. I had a picture of uh, my sons. We used to, when we used to live in D.C., we'd always go down to the National Mall and, you know, go to the Smithsonian and all the uh, museums are free, so you could just go. We'd hang out to Lincoln Memorial or go up in the uh, Washington Monument and stuff like that. So I had a picture, see if I can find it, of those guys sitting on the steps of, I think I put it on Facebook, of uh, the Lincoln Memorial with the same, see if I find it, here it is, the same view as King had uh, when he was on the steps. I don't know if this comes through clear. On his, my, his I Have a Dream speech. So you can see they're both looking out. Uh, at the reflecting pond there, right? So my boys, years and years later, look at the same view of the National Mall that he saw. And I just say, you know, what kind of dreams were they having? They were just sitting there pondering. I don't think they quite knew the significance of it at that point, but I, I let them know about it. But it's like King had a dream, and now anyone could just go sit up there and have their own dreams. I just think that's kind of cool how that kind of works out. But yeah, so happy King Day to everybody. We are not gonna stay on here long today. Hey, Keith, happy King Day to you too. Kyle Trent, oh, hey Sharon. I saw that uh, post, was that you Kyle? You said you went to the barbershop, or maybe it was somebody. <laughs> you were down here, went to the barbershop with your Eagles gear on and they sent you out summarily quickly sent you out. I don't know if that was you. <laughs> Archie Austin. So we got some Shippensburg finest on here. Make us like, boy. Archie. Keith. How about boy? Was that you, Kyle? Did you post that on, on Facebook? I think you did. Oh, it was you or somebody else down here. Went on into the barbershop. Eagles gear down in Atlanta. That's like my son. He didn't care. He'll wear his Eagles gear all up in Falcon's territory in his school. And Phillies too, up in Braves territory. I'm like, don't you worry about that? I don't care what those kids say. You know? So you you you're in good company there if that was you. Hey Frankie G, cap outside. What's up? You guys off today? You got a day on? You guys doing any service service projects or anything? Going to any uh, King commemorations in your area? Frank, you're in uh, D.C. They must be doing some good things there. I was just showing that picture of the uh, Lincoln Memorial uh, on I Have a Dream Day that I had. And I put my son's pictures right next to it. Both of them, plus King looking out on the National Mall from the uh, steps of the Lincoln Memorial. They weren't quite where he was. There is a a place noted on the stairs that says where that's where King stood during the speech. We didn't get to go there. There's a lot of people over there, but we we did go here, so we saw that much anyway. But 
it's just kind of interesting. They were just sitting there pondering and thought. So let me get this picture. This is the same view from 1963 till now. Of course, they're much older now. They're just teenagers, but they were little kids then. It's probably around 2000, maybe probably probably about 2007. They might have been five and four or five and maybe seven or eight. Maybe nine years old or something. So I gotta ask them what they would think about dreaming about today and what things they can realize uh, in their lifetime. Uh, so do you talk to your kids about King at all? Oh, I wonder uh, what you guys are doing out there. All right, so I got one more report and then I'm all done for the day. Oh, you're in Dallas, Frank? Okay. Nice, nice, nice. How long have you been there? How long have you been in Texas? Who else is there? Um, Tim and Renee, they're there, aren't they? John, aren't they there? Dallas, Texas. Yeah, it's a great day. Great day, great day. Listen, you guys have an awesome uh, rest of your uh, King holiday. Hopefully you're doing something wonderful today. And uh, sorry about the Falcons loss to the Eagles. Eagles are... What, hitting the Patriots, I guess, next time? So for all my Philly folks, we will uh, talk about that, that was good. soon, very soon on the next uh, Facebook Live. All right. All right. So just a quick one today. We are uh, heading back to do one more report, and then I'm going to get on home. It's been good seeing you guys. Thanks for popping in today. I'm glad you had the day off if you did. And uh, I'll see you back tomorrow in the morning. Not in the noontime. We'll do it in the morning tomorrow, okay? All right, you guys. Take care. Have a great day. Be blessed.